Do you know why we are happy? We are happy because we got to 10K. <laughs> we got to 10K. That is wild. We got to 10K. <laughs> One, thank you so much. Like, I've never, I think when, like, it's different. It's not the same as TikTok or Instagram. It's not the same. So, thank you thank you for subscribing thank you for watching the content i am thankful i am grateful as you can see i am getting ready uh scorpion kings are in town so maparisa and kabza are in sydney and i'm going tonight it's just gonna be weird because every time i do these type of vlogs i can't really show much because of the music so i'm gonna do my best or add alternative music but that is going to be the first part of today the second part of today is what's happening tomorrow so i'll just combine these together tomorrow at church we are having a beautiful morning's dinner beautiful morning's breakfast with the ladies at church and we're going to be hearing from our lead one of our our pastors pastor jemima um so i'm excited for that just to hear a word for the ladies but it is in the morning there's food involved but it said like starts registration and other things welcome what what at 9 15 in the morning and i'm going out tonight so pray with me also i don't have long nails i feel very weird but it's okay so that's basically what's happening today and starting off i am going to kumani's house kumani is the friend you met in the previous vlog I'm um, going to Kumani's house um, for some pre-chats and drinks and then we're gonna go into the city. This will not be a long vlog, I promise, but the main thing was for me to just say thank you so much for 10k subscribers and that I'm excited to go home. The countdown has started. I feel like the countdown has started. How many days now? I'm going home on the 28th and getting there on the 29th of october so we need to do a countdown now we need to do a countdown and another thing is i am having my birthday uh celebration here as well in sydney uh and like i said i think i mentioned this there's a possibility of me not coming back to australia so it could be also like a farewell thing at the same time uh, so I'm planning that with some close friends, people I've really am thankful for here. So I ordered a dress ne, from AliExpress. Guys, you know, I ordered an extra large, but your girl has gained weight. I am 2XL right now. Wild. So I'm really hoping that comes through and I'm going to look good and look fire. So I'm excited for it. It cost me... a. Uh, it was $97 Australian dollars and then shipping was free but there was like a weird service fee so I ended up paying like $102 which is not bad for the dress my only concern is will it fit when it gets here that is in like in like love will it fit when it gets here oh yeah and for my birthday in South Africa I have found a deco person uh el matikiza events so before you go let's wait for my party to happen first and then we can be like okay she's good but by far from what i've seen um what's a philip in cape town um things look really good so i'm very excited that i finally found someone i just need to pay 30 percent deposit which i haven't done and then yeah get that going but yeah i really like this wig guys i really really like this wig i need to spray some water on it so i can define the curls before i leave but yeah i need to get going because you know me i'm late we said we're meeting at 5 30 it's like almost six now 
what do you think of this makeup can you guys see like i've added a little bit of blush and i never add blush to my makeup it's giving a little bit of something in gayazi anyway yeah let's get into this video So pretty. Hey, he's smiling at us as if they know us. Those guys are smiling at us as if they know us. And I don't know them. I haven't seen them at church. This is so pretty. Love, love, love. Oh, so cute. Hi. That is so pretty. Yeah. I'm looking inside. <laughs> Megan, you seem different. I seem different? Yes. It's giving Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, girl? I'm good. Hi. Uh, up. Up. Yeah. M. A. A S E. My full name. Okay. I said my say. Number oh, nine. Yeah. I would know. <laughs> I knew it because oh you're God. looking for my say. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my name? In purple? Oh, that was probably better. Right? No, you have a specific and yellow. color that you would like? <laughs> yes, and yellow jeans. <laughs> I thought I would ask. Who's got Megan on you? Megan. Where is she? Megan. Yeah. Megan, you've got a name check here. Oh, it must have flown away. Yeah, thank you. It was double <laughs> me. Oh, was it? <laughs> Megan and Megan. Yeah, double Megan. That was Thank you. It's my beautiful writing. It is your beautiful writing for me. <laughs> I'm in love. I'm obsessed. Oh, let's go to the other side. Yeah. Oh, no, you're, you're, is it falling? 
shove it onto oh. your here let me put it down here it was on your hair was it yeah <laughs> there you go thank i you. love your outfit it's thank so cute. you <laughs> Yeah, this is so pretty. Didn't kill her. This place is beautiful. We literally just took pictures there. The event was amazing, but I'm leaving now. We're just gonna grab some coffee and be out. Yo, can't remember the last time I had a pie. I don't know if I hate it or it's just like brings back not pleasant memories. I don't think I hate it. I just, I'm just like, why? Why is that a thing? Okay, they have ice cream. Temptation. Oh, I'm this one. Oh, me too. I hate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I need to take another one because it's going to get soggy. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Bye my guys. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Love you, love. Love you too. Guys, she ordered her DD and it's a Tesla. <laughs> like, you get so used to Teslas in Australia being Ubers. It's wild. Literally. Or like a Porsche being an Uber. That's crazy. Anyway. You are probably wondering about oh, I am going to pick up my birthday dress, not my Australian birthday dress, my South African birthday dress. Has girl two, has two dresses. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Going to get the second dress that I went to fit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fit it today as well before I take it, but probably good practice to do that now. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for the bus and get going. By the way, by the way, yesterday, this wig is not wigging actually. I don't like that you can see the, but we'll fix it at some point. What was I saying? Oh, yesterday was amazing um, at the woman's thing, just to meet everyone and mingle. I do wish there was more of the word. It was breakfast and us getting to know each other. And there was a little bit of the word, like maybe 10, 15 minutes. And I wish we had spent more time there, but it was nice to see everyone because our church has two services, one in Parramatta in the morning on Sunday and then another one 
in Waterloo at 5 p.m. So it was nice to meet all the ladies from the different, I guess, time slots. I'll put a picture up. By the way, where we're going, where um, the lady who does my dress lives, I love the neighborhood. I love that neighborhood. So I'm excited to just look at the houses. <laughs> it reminds me to remember the goal. Uh, and today church was really good as well. Um, very powerful, exactly what I needed personally, just to keep going, to not settle, to um, not lose hope at the same time and to remember that there's more greater things coming than what is going on right now hey so church was really good today and i'm excited for whatever god has next you know in this next season hmm. yeah but I also think of the actual house. This is the house the Lord is talking about. <laughs> look, look, look. Look, look, look. I love this area, man. I really do. Ah, <sighs> Guys, I, I don't know how to explain the level of relaxation I get when I'm in this neighborhood. <laughs> oh, my nails. Um... It's so calming. Yo, guys, in the silence, this calm. This neighborhood gives me a level of peace that I don't know. Maybe it's because every time I come here, I take some time to pray and connect with the Lord. I don't know why, specifically in this neighborhood, but yo, it gives me peace, man. So now that we have hit 10K, I really want to know what you want to see more of. Oh, these houses. I really want to know what you want to see more of on the channel because I post vlogs, I post life updates, I post about my life in Australia. But when I created the channel, I really wanted it to be of substance, um, specifically for just our faith walk. Uh, so I really want to know what you want more of, less of. What I want to do is add more uh, biblical content, more faith walk journey as a young person. Uh, it could even be about everything, anything. Um, what I'm learning right now from God. That's what I want to do more of. So I want to know what you want to see more of on the channel. <sighs> My struggle with that is not because God is not doing anything. God is doing a lot. Uh, especially now because I'm in a season of <laughs> promises being fulfilled and trusting god for the promised land and i'm pressing on and not giving up um when you have a bit of what god has promised and standing firm for 
the rest of it. Just like the Israelites, um, the pastor was talking about it today, about you, you literally pray for a garden and God gives you a patch and gives you one rose and you settle and you're good with that. Uh, but to not get deceived by the devil to one fear you into saying this is it there's nothing more maybe i oh i didn't hear right from god no there is more it's not just this patch of roses there's a whole bush vineyard there's like a whole vineyard waiting for you you know um so to not let fear make you settle um or to not make when things are unclear to settle be like hey, hey i don't know what's next so i'll stay with what i do know um so there's a lot that's happening in my life personally i am just unsure when it is a message for me and when it is something i can share and maybe that fear comes from there's a friend of mine love her to bits and she's spiritually very sound However, sometimes when I share things, oh, so sorry. Wow, guys, vlogging. Um, when I share things that God is doing in my life, I feel like I need to check my GPS right now. Let me finish my line of thought. When I share things that God is doing in my life or what God is saying in terms of the next steps or the lessons I'm learning, there's also a level of debate um, or questioning and not in a... Yeah, I don't know how to put it. It sometimes feel like I want to test your faith. I want to test that you're matured. So I'm not going to stop doing what God has told me to do, irrespective of whether you understand it or not. I'm going to do it because my life is my life and my relationship with God is personal. So I'm going to continue to be obedient to God. But because of some of her line of questioning and reservations on certain things that I share excitedly with her it's made me think this I shouldn't share um, it's honestly made me not want to share um, my journey and what God is saying so yeah I continue on my faith walk as personal as it is, but I've made it a little bit private on this platform. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a tricky one for me, I won't lie. Because also if you're going to say something, you need to say it with your chest. I don't say things like God told me to do this or God said this to me because... Not that God didn't, but sometimes we hear things wrong. Sometimes our emotions, sometimes our desires get in the way. I say, I believe that this is what I should do. Or I believe that this is the next step. Or I believe that. Because if God has said it to me and I am obedient to it, then that is something I believe. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, I need to actually check my GPS. This whole talk here is probably the most important of this whole video as to what content you want. And the Lord needs to help me make content I actually want to make and take away that doubt and that fear. Um, and to give me wisdom in what I share and how I share it. Things that are supposed to be my things to keep them as my things, but things that my is going through that could help others to have the words to articulate them and to say them in a manner that will touch people's lives. Yes, yes, sehua. Sehua, isingesi. Why am I standing here? Yo, guys, this neighborhood gives me life.
okay let me gps and get myself there while we're at it let me say it it is very important how you respond to what your friends tell you on what god is doing in their lives the same way we're able to build people with our stories and our testimonies with our unbelief and our doubt of what is god doing in their life we can also create the opposite of that we can create insecurity we can create unbelief we can create doubt we can create a lot you don't have to approve of what god is doing in somebody else's life because you are not god and as much as they can share as much as what's happening in their life god's ways are different from our ways how he uh, communicates with you he won't communicate with your friend the same way so when your friend tells you this is how god is communicating with them and what they believe god is saying to them right now use wisdom <laughs> use wisdom you don't have to understand what god is doing in somebody else's life and i think that sometimes um as believers and as christians i'm going to talk to people of faith right now um it's not good enough to just have friends who are believers but they have to also be wise friends within the christian community within the christian faith i think sometimes we settle with ah, this is a person i can be vulnerable with this is a person that god has blessed me with this person has spoken life into my life and we become content with that um push your friends to be better friends push your friends to be wise push your friends to mature uh push your friends to dig deeper and not be scared of having these type of conversations um yeah we therefore i do think another level of wisdom within the friendship dynamic of christian believers who are friends is you don't have to understand what god is doing in your friend's life you don't have to approve it you don't have to um judge it i think understanding is a big thing because just because we're all believers we think we should understand the same thing <laughs> and that's not necessarily the case because god speaks to us individually how we understand him is also going to be different sometimes um and no way is less right or i don't know than the other it's just that god is going to use what works for me to speak to me and what works for you to speak to you so you don't have to understand it you don't have to understand it and we think as believers we have to we think that if we serve the same god we should have the same understanding god is supreme his ways are higher than our ways so am gribi ubawo asizumgriba ubawo our fundamental beliefs are going to be the same but asizumgriba ubawo for how he shows up to you and how he shows up to me anyway side notes i am here at the house now to get my dress i should probably call and tell her i'm outside Cause I was really wondering. I'm like, how am yeah, I gonna I carry you, this? Carry this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, that's big enough. That's really big. Yes, that's yes. gonna fit properly. Yeah. Yes, okay. I'm just going to get a dress under. All right. Oh, good. Thank you. Ah, uh, guys. This is Solution by Alfreda. She's in George's Hill. Um, and she makes amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing stuff. You will see my dress when you see my dress. Uh, but yeah, this is her home studio. Um, yeah, really professional. I'm happy with everything. Like, I'm happy, happy with everything. I just can't be excited and show it to you. But yes, we're going to put it here. Hey, nail's gone. But yeah. Let me put on my wig and take a picture for my friend. So, okay. Yay! <laughs> so, okay. Slip. 
that bad, hey? I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was like, hey! How can I do this? It's not that bad. Yeah, I know, that's fine. Thank you so much for the lift. Okay, dress here. Yeah. I am at the station again. I think it is safe. Bye! <laughs> I think it is safe to end the vlog here. Yeah. I'm very happy. Had a good day. And yeah, <laughs> I thought I could try you the dress, <laughs> but I can't. So you have to wait for the actual day and events. All right. Zeniti, Wabendi Buza, Bendi Lapa. Bye.